Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and full review of this XTU Dual Dashcam Dashcam front and rear listing says single front 4K camera built in Wi Fi GPS HD night vision magnetic mount G sensor loop recording gesture snapshot 170 degrees angle uh, 32 gigabytes ST card. It's a pretty new listing. Uh, currently available at 129.99. Yeah, it's uh, only available since about one or two months. Doesn't have a lot of review. So I thought, yeah, I'll give it a try and let you know how it does. It's not one of the most fanciest uh, design, definitely not, but doesn't have to do uh, with the like internals and so on. Maybe it's still a really good thing. So we get the basic uh, features and specs and here, here we have other details like numbers. So yeah, it's perfectly sealed. So let's take it out of the box and see. So take down, turn down the camera a little bit. So you can see everything. Yeah, here we see it again 4K UHD Wi-Fi and wide angle and GPS. That's interesting. I mean GPS. I have a old dash cam but without GPS and without Wi-Fi. Definitely not 4K. It has a wide angle already, but uh, yeah, I'm going to test that if it really has 170 degrees. So some of the uh, sellers uh, we know uh, claim 170, 180 almost degrees and then in real life it's far away from that. So I uh, hope it's not the same here. So this is what we get. They make a little bit of advertisement of for other products which they have, like the user manual. Looks like a pretty hefty thick. Yeah, 26 pages in English. That's too much, unfortunately, to show you everything. I give you some idea about that. Lucky Cam app. Yeah, here you can see how to mount. I mean, we have the front cam and then we have the rear cam. Yeah, I'm going to show you the rear cam basically, but not installed in the car. So yeah, here you can see something about the app. I mean, an app is definitely a huge advantage when it comes to such dash cams. So you don't have to take out the uh, storage card to read out the uh, video footage. Yeah, here we are. Nicely protected. Here is the 3M mount, I mean uh, sticker. Here the magnetic thing. So I have to find out yeah, where to put that. So here obviously that's definitely a good idea. You can see so we have this uh, permanently mounted. So but if you want to release that you should be able to take this away it's very strong here i will <laughs> even turned it on already so you can see yeah nice footage definitely a uh, good lens good uh, optics and so on but it turned yeah turned off immediately i don't know if you have to release that or if you can just pull yeah you have to pull a little bit strong but at least we can't just take it out it's, it looks like we have to just pull a little bit strong not super strong but it can it, it it is definitely doable but it has still a very secure hold i was a little bit worried about that so yeah it's almost too much now yeah that's super super strong uh, don't worry that it will get loose and fall down but it's a good uh, idea to have something like that so in some uh, occasions it can be needed to take away the camera. So if you want to take the driver's test at the DMV, you cannot have a camera there. And so you can just pull it down and put it away. So that's really, really helpful. I like this. This is uh, not possible with the camera, which I have at the moment. So this is a big improvement. and. So let's see the rest of the content. Pretty long cable, of course, for the back camera. So here we have, um, yeah, that's the camera. So we can stick that here, have the cable here, but we can also, looks like we can uh, release that. It's not a permanent thing, that's also good. But the cable itself, 
you'll have to find out how this works that's the for the front camera also long cable nice long cable the question is always uh, does it come with uh, also uh, data uh, pins and it looks like there are the data pins hope you can see that uh, this is something which is not good i don't know why they are doing that uh, yeah, some cars uh, have done really problems or i mean the camera has problems when we just put it to the power of the car and then the camera thinks it's uh, connected to a pc and then it goes like into data transfer or picture transfer mode but there's something which we can put in between and so it shouldn't be a problem i mean that's standard micro usb it's just 90 degrees angle and here we have this uh yeah when we need that if you don't have like an adapter like usb in your car you can use it from the 12 volts so i was a little bit uh, watching or reading the instructions and i'm going to explain a little bit these parts in detail you can see uh, here you can change the angle i mean it depends on how you have like this attached to the windscreen and then you can uh yeah adjust the angle of the camera that's not bad here and yeah here we have also the port to the micro usb i mean to the power the power goes uh, into here and then it goes uh, through here to the camera and here we have the power on uh, on this side there's nothing there's uh, like the speaker uh, you can see opening from this for the speaker i think and at the button there's also nothing just like, like looks like ventilation and here we have the opening for the micro sd card here there's the microphone don't mix it up with like the reset button don't push something into there could damage the microphone there's the plug for the rear camera here's the plug uh, for the rear camera for the power yeah regarding the micro sd card the card is already in there as you can see I'm trying to take it out to check if we really got 32 gigabytes looks like yeah Toshiba I've never seen Toshiba that's new so we put it back uh, yes yeah, seems to be pretty easy I mean you have to take this into account when you check the price that we already get uh, this nice uh, storage card I mean it's not very expensive seven eight dollars or so but it has an impact on the price so I'll put this together like in real life let's say we point this forward here we have the windscreen so we'll put this together just make sure that it has proper fit straight into that so it's really secure and now we add the or yeah we put the power into here let's say what happens here we see the blue light and turning on and again we have uh, the nice screens you can see uh, we can even remove that uh, protection here uh, to have even better view so it doesn't look too bad definitely and i think it's already recording as we can see so it goes directly into recording so if you are in a hurry uh, yeah it is pretty fast so there's nothing like touch screen so we have just this uh, functions everything here so the most of the menus are pretty easy and straightforward as long as you have stopped the recording with this button here you can access all the menus here again so we go into the uh, resolution i'm going to show you that always confirm with that also when you have finished selecting you have to select something and then go back with this button otherwise you can't go back with this uh, yeah from this menu you can see the highest uh, yeah these are the settings here which we have there are no other settings so i'm going with 1080p 60 frames so loop recording which you can choose a side but uh, we can choose a time between off and three minutes and yeah you have to uh, yeah it's personal preference how long you want to have your video files wide dynamic wide dynamic range of course i'll have it on as usually you know disadvantage g sensor i have it off so usually this is the thing when you have it uh, turned on this will now then lock 
uh, video files. It will start and on every bump that you have on the road, it will start to uh, lock files on your SD card and then over time it fills up and the camera is not capable to record anymore and then you miss the most important things and so I always uh, tend to turn off uh, the G sensor parking guard of course I want to have that on if somebody bumps into me while I'm parked exposure control I leave it on zero gesture photo I don't know what you can do that make a smile and then it takes a photo I have no clue about that so motion detection also uh, can't tell you at the moment what it is maybe we'll find out and yeah record audio yes uh, yeah maybe helpful timestamp yeah I'll have it I want to have it on the video so that's it already three of three and we'll go to the next menu like the system settings yeah so here we have the Wi-Fi yeah Wi-Fi just turn off or on when you need it you can turn it on I think the best is to leave it on as long as you don't want to tra transfer like pictures or videos so I leave it off here date time it's pretty easy to set for everything you have to just confirm here and then you can adjust up and down so pretty simple for back here it's the only thing where you have to push here I think to go back it's a little bit annoying Auto power off, yeah. Uh, I don't have anything here. I uh, will have to find out how this really works. Rear cam mirror, uh, there's an on off, and yeah, backlight. I have it on three minutes. That's probably for this camera, I guess, or for this uh, screen here. Beeping sound, one of the most important things to turn this off here. That's crazy language. Yeah, we have English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, a lot of things. So I'll go with English, of course, GPS, I guess, turn on and off. Yeah, we'll leave it on. Uh, time zone, speed warning, it's just a fixed uh, speed. You cannot, uh, like, say, yeah, uh, it won't warn you, like, in a 50 zone or above 50 and in a 100 uh, kilometer zone above 100 it's not flexible like uh, with other gps so it's just um yeah it doesn't really help so i'm yeah go with miles here frequency of the screen i guess yeah nothing really too weird format the storage card don't need that at the moment back to default settings and i'm showing the version maybe if you're interested into that looks like pretty new as you can see so yeah that's it so regarding the menus not much uh, pretty simple uh, exactly how it should be so i'm going to install that and show you then some footage so I've made some footage with the camera, I mean I haven't mounted, I just held it outside or did it by hand but still I hope I will be able to show you something so here uh, yeah, I'm going to try to connect and put it to my app. So I have been scanning the QR code here for Android brought me to the store, the Play Store, I've downloaded and installed and now uh, I want to connect to the app. So we have to agree here. It describes everything. Yeah, step one, please turn on camera and turn on Wi-Fi. This is what I'm going to do now. I mean, you have to, when you have it like this, you have to stop the uh, recording, of course, and then we have to go to this menu. We go down to the Wi-Fi and turn it on here. I mean, I hear I'm running it on a power bank with a normal micro USB. So I, yeah, it says Wi-Fi off. I don't know what, yeah, I'm here trying to do that. Maybe it is already on. So I'm trying to connect here. So now we have to go uh, to the Wi-Fi. So I think we cannot do that here. We really have to go to the normal Android settings and go to uh, Wi-Fi and choose different uh, choose this uh, Wi-Fi here yeah it says NVT card and we have this NVT card and password is one two eight so one two three four five six seven eight 
let's connect and see so connected no internet that's good so if it will ask us so we can say yes uh, stay with this internet yeah keep that's important do not uh, say switch network uh, just choose keep if it uh, will ask yeah, it will ask to access photos media and so of course you have to allow also the location and so on and now let's see if we can access the footage here so now it's recording again I'm stopping here so and it stopped already uh, also recording here so let's uh, go to folders maybe we can see yeah okay you can see it's connecting and uh, so when we want something so we have this arrow here and we can download footage so I'm going to download and then I'm going to show you the thing so it looks like the connection is pretty easy but you definitely have to connect to the access point of the dash cam and don't forget to switch back to your normal uh, Wi-Fi after the, uh, you have downloaded everything otherwise you can't uh, go to the internet again and you can't share all the things if you want to share something you have to go back to the normal Wi-Fi or to 5G or whatever you want to do so I've transferred a lot of files to my phone and also to my PC and I'm going to show you both of them so the experience is a little bit mixed uh, the good thing with the app I mean it looks like it's uh, nicely made it's not a bad thing reviews are good so far so and also when we uh, are offline now I'm connected back to the router not to the camera uh, we can access the footage and the footage is not looking too bad yeah, so here we have the footage from the back camera hope you can see that more or less that's not too good but not totally bad I mean you can definitely use that I mean as you uh, see that here at least on the phone it makes a pretty good impression for a back camera so looks like it's not too bad and we are going to the front camera so here the last video is in the I mean that's in dark of course outside and I haven't been mounting that on my car it's yeah, was just holding and walking and here it looks pretty good especially the front camera makes here on the app really good impression I mean it's even a little bit mirroring on the phone but apart from that uh, definitely looking pretty good I think I mean it's pretty dark and you can see everything really well so I would say the footage here on the phone makes a good impression but uh, actually not so much on the PC so let's go to the B PC and look a little bit more into the details of the footage uh, yeah, maybe here as a last thing on the camera itself when we uh, just move it a little bit around you can see that it's turning on even without power so we have it just on the built-in battery it has a little bit of a battery and it has already been turning on a couple of times and the battery is still doing pretty good hope you can see that so I think yeah, it should be able to capture a lot of footage when you're like disconnected your your car is parked uh, doesn't have power I mean the camera doesn't have power so it has enough uh, autonomous uh, battery capacity to capture everything so first I have a couple of pictures, then I have some uh, think, uh, daytime footage and also some nighttime footage. So we start with the pictures which uh, somehow were produced automatically. I didn't do anything, maybe I pressed the wrong button. The good thing is you can see even uh, against the sun is no problem. It has a pretty good uh, high dynamic range and yeah we have turned it on in the setting maybe you remember and maybe that helped a little bit. So that's pretty good, definitely high dynamic range. So let's go to the next picture, hope it will work. Yeah, so next one here and the one here I mean uh, yeah the car was standing not uh, driving so picture pretty good 
so yeah i don't have more this is then nighttime footage and that's from the back camera and back camera nighttime footage i would say whatever i have seen is really not good so same thing with the front camera not perfect but a little bit better again uh, back camera front camera then next picture back front back front obviously it didn't take pictures exactly same time but uh, pretty close so i think we have two here yeah back camera here and front camera here so front camera isn't bad during the night it's not perfect but definitely useful back camera would say yeah here at least on the pc it doesn't look really impressive on the uh, on the smartphone it was still okay yeah here on the pc it doesn't look so good back camera again front here and that is even front camera back camera back that's front that's also front front back yeah you can see definitely difference of course that's back and that uh, has been everything so let's let's go to the um, videos so here we have some daylight footage and it's uh, towards the sun and not bad so it looks like the white dynamic range is working but uh, still some artifacts especially if you look at the bottom so yeah footage is not too bad i mean colors are pretty accurate i mean i'm holding the camera in my hand i didn't have time to really properly adjust remove the old one but i wanted to make the review but you can see yeah it's a little bit shaky here i'm going to the next one yeah here you can see uh it's not bad but still we can see a lot of artifacts here so it's either over processed or over compressed something like that but, but you still can see a lot when you check on the right side like they are coming like a couple of signs here on the right side you can definitely easily see most of these things so that's not bad and really colors are nice we have same thing here with the back camera and you can see the colors are totally off i mean the blue is yeah it's blue but it's a special blue and especially the green of the trees uh yeah it's uh, looking totally fake and washed out uh, blurred and uh, but you still can see a lot it's uh, surprisingly yeah when we see same images on the right side you can see so you can definitely read most of the signs here and here you have some nighttime footage from the back camera yeah definitely not impressive and yeah looks like there's still something on the camera we have the same spot here as we had before maybe there's a either it's an error or that's a, a like a dirt dirty something but i can't remember that there was something yeah i mean it's possible to see a couple of things but it has huge artifacts it has huge troubles during the night so this is not looking good yeah i think here we have once again a similar thing with the back camera a little bit other area but uh, it's definitely not looking good for the back camera and here we have the same thing with the front camera still quite some artifacts i mean a little bit too much for my taste daytime footage was looking good but nighttime yeah it has really a lot a lot of artifacts and when it's moving i mean when it's standing still it's okay when it's not moving at all then it's okay but i mean this is a camera for moving for uh, driving around sorry for that that was my fault uh the video footage is okay but yeah still the artifact there is not much sharpness i mean colors are okay for the night you don't need a lot of colors uh, but uh, yeah it it has too much problems uh, yeah so i'm definitely not impressed with this footage even with the front camera on the phone it has been looking good but uh, here in detail on the pc definitely not impressive
Yeah, so what's the bottom line here? Let's go back to the Amazon listing and uh, yeah, look a little bit at the price and description and some of the pictures here. Yeah, what uh, we notice first, I mean, it, the style is definitely a little bit outdated. Looks like a camera from five or ten years ago. Not really impressive. It has a lot of things uh, built in, like the GPS. We, yeah, unfortunately, I forgot a little bit to. To check on that but the GPS data is only available when you are at the app and connected to the camera then you can check it when you check the footage you can uh, check the track uh, but unfortunately I forgot but I guess it, it, it's working you can see that uh, here uh, somehow yeah regarding the viewing angle I've been checking that for the front cameras 170 degrees yeah definitely not I have I haven't checked in detail but I would say maximum maybe 120 degrees for the front camera and for the back camera it's even less um, it is a little bit more than 90 degrees uh, for the front camera but definitely not impressive I would say maximum 120 probably it's even less maybe it's it's rather uh, around 110 or so really maximum 120 and definitely way from 170 degrees but doesn't really surprise me I mean most of these cameras which are saying 170 uh, degrees angle they don't have this so but I mean when we go and check the whole package I mean the package is huge it has everything we have all the, a lot of functions we get the front camera back camera we get the adapters we get the SD card uh, good cables long cables good description everything everything is actually working but just the quality which should be here is not so much here uh, there's no not this style which you expect in 2020 is not the quality not the angle which we expect so a couple of things which really are not here which we ex actually expect so I would say 129 is definitely too much if you can buy it for $80 yeah okay that could be a good price 129 for me is definitely too much and I just recently found another interesting camera which may be uh, which could be a much better opportunity yeah so that's the one here when I was uh, clicking around a little bit I yeah this caught my attention and I was really impressed by this camera I mean I don't have it here unfortunately I cannot test that but if you just need like a view to the back and I mean view to the front view to the back like uh, almost 360 degrees and not a real back camera or really backup camera like the one uh, which we are testing here yeah when we are okay just with the camera to the back which can be even more helpful I think and it is definitely much easier to install than we can go I think with this one it has a lot of really good reviews not many bad reviews and it's $79 and it, it, it looks uh, much more like a, a modern contemporary something like that and it has also a lot of good uh, things and maybe it has doesn't have everything but it has also Wi-Fi Wi-Fi for me is the most important thing GPS not so much actually so it has actually the things which I want and so we can even uh, save a lot of money so for me I mean yeah here we have him the one with the extra backup camera looks like yeah here we have really three cameras we have the one to the front we have the camera to the inside and we have even a backup camera so we have even more and it's ten dollars uh, less and yeah I mean I see there's a huge advantage and they get, have also good reviews they are selling since quite some time so I probably would go with something like that and we'll put down all the links to all the three products into the description so you can decide on your own which one you want to check out and maybe order directly from Amazon so that's it for now I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time